Welcome everybody to MinnesotaGhost.com. Uh, today we are out on a little expedition. We're in Buell, Minnesota at Lakeview Cemetery. Uh, today's date is May 18th, 2008. The time is about quarter after seven. Um, we wanted to show you a true treasure in Minnesota's haunted history today. So hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy our excursion and, and we may be able to find some ghosts tonight if they want to cooperate. One thing I want to talk a little bit about on the website on this video, I know a lot of people have been saying, um, Adam, you use a lot of digital in your investigations. Do you also use analog tapes? A lot of groups like using analog tapes. Um, for evidence backup, obviously we try to get the best of both worlds. Uh, we believe that digital has its, its own position in the field, its own right. Um, it is a lot of instant gratification. It's also a lot easier to use than analog, but when you're going for evidence, you also want to do analog, which is why the video camera that you're viewing this through is actually uses a, a tape. Um, it's a mini DV. It combines both digital and analog together, so you have something on a tape. Uh, it also gives you that negative to look back at, but it also has this kind of a digital format that it, it puts itself in. Um, we also use... Uh, uh, the micro cassette for our audio, which is in our Sony, and just pop it open. See, there's a tape in there. So, I know some people have been saying that we've been just using digital, but we actually use both on investigations. So, I want you to be aware of that, please, and also know that we do also use digital for our recorders as well. So, we're just trying to figure out which way it works best for both and kind of compare and actually get some data on digital versus analog, whereas some groups just like to ignore the whole other side of the coin. We try to cover both ends. So please take that into your research, uh, into consideration, and use both of them. The Buell Cemetery also has what used to be the Buell Hospital's graveyard or cemetery where uh, there are no names in this part of the cemetery, but only numbers on iron crosses. Uh, the records are said to be lost for the, the names that correspond with the numbers. Uh, the Buell Sanitarium is no longer in business, but we just wanted to let people know that there is an added, added section to the cemetery, if you will, and it truly is a, uh, a memorable one and one that, that hits a lot of people hard. Well, one of my mottos, and one that I instill in both the Minnesota Paranormal Study Group and uh, other groups that I work with, is that when you go to a cemetery, you want to be respectful. Uh, the people that you are trying to find, even though they're dead, they're people too. That's where our motto goes for people to come from. Um, I know another paranormal group in the area works in the cemetery as well. Uh, and I just wanted to point out one thing to the public. You, like I said, you only take photographs, leave footprints. If you want to zoom in here, we actually look like we found some equipment which look like dowsing rods. Now, if you want to take a look, I know the man who made these, um, and I know NMPI is probably going to say that they were ours. And the thing is, we actually cut the rubber ends off of ours because rubber is not a very good conductor of energy. And I believe that what we work with when we work with ghosts is nothing but energy. Also, one of the reasons why we cut the rubber ends off of ours is because 
they also let the bars swing a little bit looser than they should. You kind of want to have a firm grip when you're doing this. That way you don't have the wind moving them and you don't have your own hands moving them or swaying freely. You want to be able to make sure that they're moving on their own. Now if you want to take a look at the ones that we found on the ground, they still have the actual rubber hose on the handles. So let that be a lesson to you for anybody who goes out to cemeteries. Please don't leave your equipment uh, as you are doing nothing but litter. Now, one of the things that Buell is kind of famous for is the statue behind me. Uh, it's actually Christ on Calvary. And you actually have some, some weeping patrons, patrons next to it. And uh, one of the things that's kind of odd about this part of the cemetery is that when you walk in here, people often refer to us as, as a calm feeling going over them. Um, our investigations in the past have also revealed that it's about two to three degrees warmer actually inside here than it is in the ambient area. So once we cross past these two, uh, two benches, uh, a lot of people claim that that feeling comes over them and uh, that's where we get the degrees to change. We hope to come back here on a full investigation and do some more video work as well as bring us a temperature gauge to show you guys that it does actually change. Other reports in this area have been uh, odd noises such as a, as a ball dropping and bouncing on the pavement when uh, the ground is actually pretty solid. 